wife what? ate it. <laughs> This is exactly how we gonna start. And that's how like, you know it's gonna be a good time. Oh my What's god. What's up, everybody? It's your girl Kelly Kills, and we locked in with another episode of Through Ticket in the Podcast. I'm super, super on one because <laughs> my nigga here, like my A1, like my hitter, like, and I guess a lot of people probably think you they A1 because you make people feel like that. That's weird. Uh, they know no R, so you gotta change that up. Like be right. mean to these people. Because <laughs> good to people. Too damn I, good. Too damn good. <laughs> and I think it's that Southern swag, that mm -hmm. Southern hospitality. Mm -hmm. Man, I have in the studio with me, when I say a legend, a living legend, oh super. Yeah, No, yeah, this is how I feel about you okay. right now in front of all my viewers. A living legend, a monster, not a female monster, just a monster on the mic, a monster in energy, a monster in her presence. Um, uh, uh, I mean, listen, a, a great cook, a great mother, a great uh, entertainer. How about that? We're going to buy true. her as an entertainer. <laughs> Representing Mobile, Alabama by way of ATL. Listen, you've seen her on absolutely everything. But more importantly, you get to see her right here today on Through the Container Podcast. It's nobody <laughs> but the one and only Ashima Franklin. You give the best introduction. I know. We should go on the road together. Uh, <laughs> speaking, of, <laughs> speaking of going on the road together, I'm so, I miss you. Oh, I miss you too. I miss us. I miss us. Listen, oh I know, God. we had a good time. We had a time. We had a time. Yeah, but that's okay, though, because we all been working. And that we was have. good. But we, we coming back. We are having. We, we, we are. are. We are. I was, um, it's so crazy because I have our picture on my mantelpiece. Oh. I have a picture of the of us, you know, when uh -huh. our professional pictures I blew and put on my mantelpiece. And then yesterday I saw one of our card flyers. Absolutely. And I said that I was going to do a remind me wall in my house. Because yeah. sometimes you forget some yeah. of the stuff that you've done. Sometimes you can kind of like forget who you are Come on. on those days. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I said, you know what? I'm going to do a remind me wall and I'm going to put my funny body. I'm going to make a poster, like a poster size. I love it. I love of, it. Of everything of I've everything, done. Of everything, yeah. And uh, sometimes. Right I, wall, like, hey, God, thank you. God, right. Thank you. These are all accolades. Some mornings I might need to get up and look at that wall and just remind, remind myself of who you are, what of you come through. Who the fuck I am. Yeah, and how the hell you and where you not been. Right. Through thick and thin. Through thick and thin. And listen, and yeah. I have our picture on the refrigerator. So you know how many times a big bitch in the refrigerator. Right. So every time I open up, I see it, right. and it's good. We that's all we talking about. Ta da! We in the, the oh the, the, the Charlie, Charlie Chapman. Chapman. <laughs> <laughs> I had everybody you do, do the Charlie Chapman. And it was good. It was It was. And so and and just for the record, I'm so glad I had have you here. We are still through, we are still Funny by Nature Comedy Tour. We are Funny by Nature Comedy Tour and can't nobody stop it. Yes. Like we just doing our own things right now right. because everybody got amazing things going on. But we got tour dates. People always call us for dates. Oh my God. They always call it's us. So many people just be like really wanting us to <laughs> get back together yeah. and we do it because they got a whole nother tour out here that's called the Funny by Nature, but they, they, they're on a cease and desist. Like they definitely been sent the letter yeah. Have they? Definitely by uh, by attorney. Tyria yeah, because they don't yeah. need our name because we still our name is still yeah. active. No, no, not even that though. Our, we own our name, so you can't. That's the great thing about it. You can't. So you guys can go use something else or all the residual, all the money from that tour, everything right. will have to be documented. Now we're going to go into taxes and now we're going to have to get the money. So y'all don't want to do that. Just stop the name because you right. haven't had any tours. Right. And yeah, so and now, yeah. We had so you. much fun, y'all. If y'all just knew half of like the behind the scenes, <laughs> that was we the laughed. But guess what though? Honestly, and this is just for the record, everybody mm -hmm. know, we would do it totally different. We would have a shooter with us the entire time recording it behind the scenes and make, mm. we could have sold that as a reality, reality show right now. The world is at a stop. No writers, no nothing. Right. They need reality like pieces. That was perfect. We really should have. Girl power. We would uplift each other. We were just in a clutch. Everything that they said it wouldn't be, it was. And everybody had their own identity yeah. on, the on the tour. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like Kelly was Kelly Jakes. <laughs> she was the, the, the pastor, the prayer. I was the diva. I was I like, what? The half the man? You, <laughs> you was like, oh my God. We all flying spirits. She was like, I'll see you guys on Delta. First <laughs> I class. see y'all in Concord C when <laughs> <Yeah>. we land. <laughs> Meanwhile, we over Nisha there. was the party girl. Yeah. Crystal was just the mama. The mama. Crystal yes. like, I'm, I'm going to go in. Right. <laughs> but see, while you playing, you would go in, Oh, too. yeah. Me and Crystal both was going in. Yeah. Kelly and Nisha was definitely going to the after we party. We definitely going to the after party. Crystal would go show her face at the after party only to beat me to the room. To try to look cool in front of y'all. And Nisha would do something like this, like... <laughs> <laughs> 
You ready to go? <laughs> she, oh, Kristen, you ready to go? You ready to get up out of here? <laughs> Listen, I am super excited that you're so here. So much Ashima. fun, man. First of all, let's start off by saying, yeah, here. Uh, yeah, everything, everything is glowing. Oh, it's thank popping. You. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, the edges are, are strong and thank full. Thank you. Yeah, and they, and they hear it's coming. I touched it. I did the, the claw through. You know when the girls do a claw through? The girls be so jealous. The girls, then she gonna try to do a claw through. The girls be like, so jealous to make sure there ain't no pieces in there. And it ain't. I was like scratching my scalp while you in there. Yeah, you know? and I can't, I mean, when they say like that, <laughs> I used to say my hair is this long, but I used to put my neck down. Like my hair. <laughs> I'm killing these so my, my hair, hair is this long. Yeah, your hair is that long. Okay. I'm, I'm just letting my my uh my real hair just relax. Okay. I'm gonna get my weave back in. Well, guess what though? We Before can do that. We can we have different, we pull from different identities yeah. with our hair, mm -hmm. from our style, we do. our nails. You know, one thing we don't right. play about is our nails and our yep. hair. We love our lips. We love a red lip. You know, we love our You know lashes. I keep a red lip and a red and nail. nail. Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. It is a thing. It is. And remember we paid all that money we were in um what part was he? Where? Uh, oh, in Nashville. In Nashville. Oh my God, that nail shot was so expensive. It was like eighty dollars for a manicure, a hundred dollars for a pedicure. Yeah, we was like, wait, what? We was like, can we do one each foot? Like, can we? Can you just do my pinky? Can we do our pinkies? We can you? We want to hold the mic like this. <laughs> can you just do a thumb? <laughs> Man, you was like, I was like, can you put half on this card? Can I write you a check for the rest of the rest of cash? I think we walked out sad. I ain't never left out yeah, sad. Yeah, we did. Ashima, Ashima. Ashima you Bima. are Ashima Bima. Ashima Bima, Mobile's finest, right? Mm -hmm. I love it. When I say Mobile's finest, I, I really come from the place of like, dude, you have this Southern twang about you mm -hmm. that like, it's like the auntie, I want to go by her house. I want to spend time with her because I know it's going to be an excitement. Yeah. 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 Is, is your whole life been like that? It is. That's that's who my mom was. Okay. Like everybody, like cousins, family, auntie, everybody always came over our house. I can my feel mama it. always had the music playing, the food going, even if she didn't have food going on. I remember like my uncles who was pretty much like her brothers uh -huh. um, because they were so close in age. Them Negroes were just knocking on the door. They got the bill to wine and next day, you know, my mom in there fried chicken, <laughs> pig feet in one pot, cabbage in another. Yeah. So that's how I grew up. Okay. And it was the same way in my grandmother's house. Okay. It was just welcoming, food, family, all. And that's who you are. Mm -hmm. You are absolutely that girl yeah. from the top to the bottom. Everybody knows what they call it, a Shima. What's her? Shima Sweets. Shima Sweets. Yeah. Like, if you are a working comedian and you are locked in and you, and you ain't ever say that, the Shima, Shima Sweets. Sweets. It's only for exclusive comedians only. Oh, no, that is. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah oh. Only for my friends to get that type of treatment. Like, when Niche came in town the other day to come... For the Beyonce concert. For the Beyonce concert, concert mm -hmm. she definitely... Even if she didn't... She wasn't even staying at the Shima Sweets. Yeah. She definitely came by, bought her guy. Yep. We had fish, grits, french fries, Thanks. dirty rice. <laughs> yeah. and, and this is all Shima on the fly with stuff Shima. <laughs> was like, so did you just have all this here? Did you go to the store? I was like, it was in the freezer. And guess what? I don't have any of those things in the freezer. Like, don't look at me like that. I'm oh, yeah. going to have to go get everything if somebody come over. You are a cook, right? My mother cook. Yeah, but yeah, Kelly has, and I wish my mama was was visiting me as much. Yeah, but my mama just take care of the household. I love that. And I do too, because mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't have enough time. Mm -hmm. And in my life, I just never got in the kitchen. So I had that type of lifestyle. My mama is the party house. I can never go by anybody else's house because everybody got to come to my house. But that's how my mama was yeah, when it I came can, to my friends. Yeah, I couldn't go by nobody's house. They no, come over here. But you understand why now, don't I'm so it? so grateful. It's Especially that we're girls. Yeah. My mind's like, no, but the whole class could come to my house. Yeah, because I, I, I could watch everything that was going uh -huh, on. I uh -huh. still do that now. Yeah, so that ain't going nowhere. Yeah, as you come over here, mm -hmm. you can have as many sleepovers downstairs in the living room while I'm up. I'm sitting on the uh, couch, tired mm -hmm. as hell. I'm trying to outsleep, but not even that though. You could be here because I'm covered. I'm like that with Ashton, and I got a boy like Ashton. Uh, Ashton. I be real particular. No, Ashton is at, how old is Ashton? Ashton's 14. Ashton's a freshman. Ashton is a freshman. He's a freshman. In and, high school. And he's as tall as you. He is 6'2". Shima, what happened? We was just in the green room and he was eating chicken tenders. It, I was so emotional on the first day of high school. Like, when people imagine. used to tell me when he was younger, you know, enjoy this time now because it go by so fast. Yeah. It really do go by fast. Like, we're watching these children just grow up. Savannah's in the six. I get it. Oh. In the sixth grade, and she like, see you, mom, and she is fly. You wait until Savannah get ready to go. Wait, wait till that eighth grade graduation. Wait, she, I was bawling. I was crying too. And everybody like Kelly. I'm like, no, no, yeah. And and you and I, and I know you have, you know, bonus children. Yeah. Um, but it's it's like when you have one. Yeah. It's 
It's overwhelming. Well, your biological child is totally different than your body. Should you love? I love my love my right. I love my children. I call them my children. I love them. Actually, my two of my uh, bonus children are going to high school, and I called mm -hmm. them the first day. Like, hey, you yeah. know, I'm excited and I'm emotional about that. But when Savannah went to the city, yeah, it's just like, it's just different. It's just different. I I be feeling like because I be I'm the the feeling and the love is so overwhelming. Like I'm obsessed. Yeah. I tell Ashton, you go. I don't care if you're 50 years old, you still gonna be my baby. I almost feel like I probably should have had another one. Oh, really? Don't say that. Shayla. Only because I be feeling, I feel like already I leave. feel bad that when I leave, it's I, just him. I just had the conversation with James yesterday. That's so ironic that you brought this up. I said, babe, I know that you enjoy going a lot of places with me. Now it's just me, James, and Savannah in the house, mm -hmm. right? Because my mom is not there. I'm like, and Savannah don't mind staying in the house by herself, but I don't want her there by herself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even though she don't mind, I don't want her there. Mm -hmm. So James, please, could you set this out? He's like, no, I understand it. You know, or I'm gonna have to take her to my sister. And 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 when I also say when I leave, I mean like when I leave to go to Glory. Oh yeah. I don't want just the. Oh yeah. Oh you know, yeah. Cause I I just feel and I'm it's crazy, but I I do be he thinking got, like he got that. Cousins though. He got cousins that are like brothers. Yeah. But and it's not the same. And Savannah said all the time. Savannah wants a sibling so bad. She asks me probably a hundred times a week to this day. But I don't have time. You don't have time. You're busy. We're busy. The clock has caught up with me. If if I had the money and the nanny, then I would. Right now. Right now. If I had the money and oh, the yeah, nanny. Oh yeah, absolutely. But I just feel like the clock then caught, caught up to me. I'm going to keep it real. I would have to have a nanny like go on the road with me. I would want my baby still with me everywhere. That, that's where the money comes in. That's where the money comes in. Yeah, I don't have time. I don't have time. And it'll slow me down. Celebrities can do it because that baby could be on that jet with you. That baby could be in that, 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 that hotel. Bus, the hotel. Yeah. Back room. Yeah, how you going to tell them no? Yeah. But you know what? We are celebrities. That's not. Oh, yeah. Nah, oh, yeah. Nah, 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 that's not. Right. We are celebrities. Bread, bread, bread. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah, we are definitely going to get. Oh, we definitely. Yes. It is coming. We've right. been doing this a long time. You've been doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. Mm -hmm. From Mobile. Mm -hmm. Always had this personality because it's in your family. Mm -hmm. You always been funny? Or were you ever an introvert? Were you ever. Well, how, how have you grown I've always up? been funny. I've always been always, funny. And she's always been a diva. Did you just, I don't know if y'all know this. <laughs> <laughs> Always, always been funny. funny. Always um, been. come from a funny family, and I've always been on stage. I've been in performing arts since the fifth grade. Yeah, let's go. Always, let's go. I used to, and I come from a family where everybody went to college. Okay. I come from an educated family, but my mama, I just, I have this conversation with her all the time. <laughs> I used to always tell them, I don't want to go to college because I'm going to be a superstar. Come on, I want to go to Hollywood. It. Take me to Hollywood. I used to tell my mom, if you would have. Freaking listen to me. I could have been a child star on drugs, back, rehabilitated by now, and and, and a comeback and reinvented right, right. <laughs> This would have been your second tour of life, yes. Yes. But um, I always, I was never scared to talk in front of people. Even in the church, I was the person that walked the pastor in with the the the, the Donna Duck juice and the Are you the cup. serious? I used to walk the pastor in. Oh, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. I always wanted to be the center of attention. Oh, yeah, I love it. I love it. But it's easy for you, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy uh, for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. you I mean, I got the, the longest Easter speech. I'm raising my hand. They used to, they used to hate me in acting class and drama. Miss Washington used to be like, shout out to Miss Washington. She changed my life, sixth grade. Shout out to Miss Washington. She got to be dope for you to even. We, we oh, real teachers like Ms. that. Ms. Washington always tell me I am her superstar student. Yeah. She used to be like a shame. I used to cry when I didn't get casted in plays. She used to be like a shame. It's for a fat Chinese boy. <laughs> well, I used to be like, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your role. It's for a fat Chinese. <laughs> For a middle-aged man, I can do this. I can really do it, Miss Washington. Just give me a chance. See? <laughs> I used to cry. Oh man! I could not sing, so when it came to doing musicals, <laughs> it would be hard for me to get a lead role because I couldn't sing. Yeah. So whenever she would give me a lead role and require me to sing, she would just make everybody else sing with me. I love it. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. She so she actually helped foster your. 
your gift and oh, your talent. Oh, most definitely I she did. I love her she for did. that. I love are her. You, is she still? She, we are still We are still in communication. Mm -hmm. Um, I always tell her whenever I get to do a documentary or uh, stories she, being told. Her name will be mentioned. She would be on it. Come on. She would be. She has videos of me performing from the sixth grade. She you need like, to get those videos. Yeah. She you, always tell me that, too. You need to get them. No, I'm telling you that now. Mm -hmm. So now that's just a, go get those videos, because yeah. that's going to be good to be in your own documentary. Oh. I yeah. think Kanye West taught us that though, right? Yeah. About like documenting everything and then make it in the end. We ain't in a rush for nothing. Right. This journey ain't over. It's right. just beginning. Oh my God. This journey's just beginning. You are the center of attention. We're gonna okay. say that. You're the center of attention in high school, you're the center of attention. So you don't go to college. You don't no. go to college. So after high school, you like what? Well, um, a lot of people don't notice that I didn't even graduate high school. I didn't know that. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. It was something that I was really um, ashamed about for a long time. Okay. Um, I ended up getting kicked out because I'm uh, a low-key punk. Whatever. Some girls wanted to fight me. Let me just go on and say what it was. Say what Some it is. Some girls wanted to fight me they and jump on me. Um, and I wasn't no fighter. I'm a lover. And I bought a knife to school. Uh -huh. And so in the middle of the fight, I broke the knife out. And even though I didn't cut anybody, um, it was, I got kicked out and was supposed to go to like a continuous, like a east side high school. Yeah, like alternative high school. Like yeah. alternative. And instead, I didn't do that. I went to a community college and got my GED. Okay. I'm yeah. okay with that. And I was, and I, um, where they at now though? Where they ain't want to fight? Right. They still want to fight? Yeah, Hold yeah. On, they, I still don't want to fight them. Uh, <laughs> I do. Yeah. I, I, I yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. But I end up getting my GED and the good enough diploma. That's yeah, the good. good enough diploma. <laughs> The good enough education. Good enough education. <laughs> and that shit was crazy because I'm in that bitch with motherfuckers who just got out of jail, mamas. <laughs> I'm the youngest teenage motherfucker. Teenage bombs. Teenage bombs. Dope fiends, crackheads. I'm just like, I got to do my size project with Ursula. <laughs> <laughs> but you did it. But I did it. I had How a... was your mom? How did she feel? How did your, even your sister, how was everybody else reacting to that? Because I'm sure they did not expect that from you. You know what? I, the, the one thing I remember about that experience yeah. is when the day I had to officially withdraw from high school, the secretary lady looked at me and said, good luck. And she said it as if, "Oh, you out of there?" Like, yeah, you, like yeah. it ain't like I wasn't gonna make it. Wow. She was just like, wow. "Good luck with everything." Like, good luck with your life. And for some reason, that that always stuck with me. And I just remember saying myself, "I'm gonna be all right." And look at you. I'm so glad. Sometimes mm -hmm. we need those good lucks. When you know how they say the teachers say, "Hey, you ain't gonna make." It. I've never had teachers say that, but I remember teachers saying that to students. Like, dude, if you hit it down this track. I used to, yeah. like, they just make me cringe. Mm -hmm. So that good look, I can only imagine how that mm -hmm. felt. You feel it? And when yeah. adults do it to kids, it's right. almost like. And I lied about that for years. Not so much lied about it, but I mean, I, ain't, I don't put GED on, on job applications yeah, when I was to. working. Mm -hmm. I used to be like, you know, I went to Harvard. <laughs> oh my God! Graduated summa cum laude. Summa cum laude. That's that's a cum laude. That's. I'd have made up. Some shit. I, I'd have been a Oh yeah, I was a doctorate in uh, <laughs> theology. <laughs> oh, you, you, you a pastor. Okay, that's... never had a problem with getting a job though. Never. So you fresh out of high school, you good to working? Where? Yeah, I was. I was in the hotel business. I, Hospitality, I, duh, mm -hmm. duh, that was something good for you. Yeah, and, that's, and that was like a good paying job. It, it really still is. And you don't have to be college educated to be like in management. I was like a, I had started working in hotels when I was like 14. Okay. So 18, 19, I was front desk manager. 20, 21, I was assistant general manager for the Hilton. So that's where this that's that's where all this prestige and, and energy coming. You you you've been working with in hotels yeah. and, and dealing with people. So you kind of like, okay, I know how to deal in customer service. Mm -hmm. This is what I expect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a precedent that's been already set. And, and so I didn't know that Ashima Bima. How I got to Atlanta yeah. was I was checking in this lady named Pansy Montgomery. I always call her my angel. Um, she was recruiting for AirTran Airways. Okay. And when I was checking her in, she was like, you tall and pretty nice personality. Anybody ever told you you should be a flight attendant? Yeah. And I was like, people tell me that all the time. She hired me on the spot. And AirTran bought me to Atlanta. But she was a flight attendant. Okay. Right. As the story <laughs> goes on. The plot thickens. I'm like, you were a flight attendant. The plot thickens. So you, hold on, wait. So this lady gives you this job, <laughs> hires you right on the spot. Mm -hmm. You're willing, because at this point, you already are stable in Hilton. You're willing to just leave it all 
for this new position. I'm willing to leave Mobile and leave it all for this new position. Uh, I love yes. it. I love it. Yes. Dearly. I was actually dating a guy that was a school teacher at the time and the head football coach. And all of his friends were college educated and everybody had careers. Okay. And it was when I was dating him, and he and I are still friends to this day, where I realized it's a difference in having a job and a career. Absolutely. And I wanted a career. Yeah. So when she offered me that job, not to say I couldn't have made it a career at the hotel, because I could have, but that job just seemed better. Yeah, no, get, honestly, you know? it do. Yeah. I mean, in hindsight, because you're like, oh, flight attendant, that mm -hmm. just seemed like something that people would long to be a flight attendant. Right. Yeah. So, so you get to Atlanta. Get to Atlanta. Now, what are you doing as far as housing? You just so go to Atlanta. put me up in a hotel. Let's go. Okay. They put you up in a hotel, right? Okay. So the training is six weeks. You have to make an A, at least 90% on each test. You only in those six weeks get two retakes, mm. okay? Mm -hmm. And you get a retake on each test except for the final. I go through the training. I don't even use my retakes. I'm, I'm, I'm studying. I'm doing, you know, because they give you the, the book and stuff even before you go. I'm partnering with, with people. You know, and you what? fresh out the GED course, so you know how to work with fresh out of GED. Any type of okay. Okay. Any type okay. of, uh, I'm fresh out of <laughs> taking a test <laughs> about life. Yes, for real. I get to the final. Yeah. And I changed one of my answers. I never forget what the question was. The question was, how many miles is the airplane in the sky when it's in sterile cockpit? I had the right answer. I second guessed myself, changed it to the wrong answer, and got an 89. So I didn't get the job. I didn't get my wings. After passing all of them, mm -hmm. you have to pass the final. You have to pass the final, and you can't take that one over. You can in three months. And you just said, so. Okay, so I don't get my wings. I don't get paid either, because you only get paid uh, if you graduate. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you know that? Yeah, I knew that. Oh. You get your check and your wings at graduation. So I have to call down the mobile, let everybody down. I met a guy named Byron who ended up being my friend yeah. in flight attendant school. He, he was like, look, shit happens. If you want to stay in Atlanta, you can stay with me. Mm, come on, Byron. Byron let me stay with him for about a month and a half. I end up getting a job at a Hilton here in Atlanta. Did they, did, were they able to transfer your credentials over? Oh, yeah. One, the one thing about the hotel business, once you're in it, you can stay in it. Okay, good. That's a good It's thing. just one of them things yeah. or whatever. And here I am. And he took me to Uptown to cheer me up. That's how I went to the comedy club. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> I had never been in a comedy club. Wait a club. minute, though. You mean to tell me... Mm -hmm. you? I mean, everything was in divine Ain't order. Ain't that crazy? No, it's actually mind-blowing. This is my first time hearing all this. I'm yeah. like, blown away. That's, yeah. It was a perfect time, though. Yeah. And what meant to... They thought that was going to break you. Something was going to break you for us not passing that. That was intentional. And I was devastated. I'm glad I, you did. Could the, you imagine you being on a plane and not going to Uptown? Miss Montgomery was like, a shame. I know she was coming in the office because after you don't pass the test, they call you out the classroom, and they was like, a shame Frank. And I was like, what? <laughs> what what y'all calling me for? Yeah. And I went to her office and said, oh, girl, I cried. And she was just like, a shame. I just remember she just kept saying, a shame, a shame. Why did you? I was like, no, I didn't change it. No, I changed it to this. Yeah. <laughs> it was a written test. Oh, uh, no, it was. Um, a scantron? No, it was, yeah, you had to fill in. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah, multiple choice. Yeah, damn. A sh Listen. But she could see why he raced. The right answer. Yeah. She was like, never it nothing second. she can do. Oh, it was absolutely nothing but tell me never second guess yourself. Yeah. And so you, after that month you stand with him, right? Mm hmm Now you go to Uptown. He takes me to Uptown, um, and Tony Roberts was there. Oh, God. We I had a highlight. I know. Tony Roberts. I had been to a comedy show, but I had never been in a comedy club before. It was okay. my first time. Yeah. Mobile didn't have comedy clubs. Yeah. And I just remember just being <laughs> in that gym, just being like, this is where I belong. Like, oh my God, I love it here. Thank you. I want to stay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and so you start working there. So I came back and got a job there. So you, you said, okay, I want to stay here. Mm -hmm. I'm never going back to take that damn test. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't even stun air train no more. Perfect. I, I didn't even think about it. Yeah. It wasn't even a thought to it go back. It wasn't even a thought. Mm -mm. I was over it. As soon as you get to Uptown, and that's so funny because I just obviously just interviewed Los, and it was just talking about how he had amazing people around him the whole time. Mm -hmm. You at Uptown, mm -hmm. you 
what are you? What's your first position? Because okay, so I, I the first person I meet was Mr. Craig. Okay, Mr. Craig. Yeah, yeah he just told me yeah, he Craig. was the first person I met, and I thought he was gonna like hire me to work in the office or answer the phone or something. He was like, no, if you want to be a comedian, you need to work on the floor. So yeah. I was a waitress. Yeah. And man, when I tell you that was the best job, Kelly, what we used to have it? so much freaking fun. You come to a job to laugh and make money. And then the people at Uptown right now, the waitress be like dying oh. laughing. They be sometimes taking orders and looking yeah. like, girl, take the damn order. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We used to have so much. It was the best. It was the best job I ever had in my life. But when comedians, were all comedians doing that? Or were you just the only one? Or was that like a gateway to get in? Because I didn't know. I was the only one. Okay, because you know, in, in a lot of clubs, like I just did a, a few clubs and um, look up a mainstream and the comedians be working the door. Yeah. They be like cleaning the tables at the end. I didn't, I didn't Yeah, know. I started that shit. Yeah, <laughs> I started that shit. And I'm gonna finish that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you wait. Okay, so now... Do you get right up on the stage? Oh, no, 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 no. I waitressed, I waited tables in Uptown for two years before I got on stage. Are you kidding me? Oh, yes, God, yeah. I was in there for a minute. I just watched and I just learned mm -hmm. and I just networked. Yeah. I just watched and I learned and I networked and I enjoyed the job. Yeah. And I just watched. That's literally what I did. And then when I started getting doing the open mics, I started doing open mics outside of Uptown. Okay, yeah. Cause like for me to get on up, and it still is, to get on that stage is a big deal. It is a big deal to get on Uptown stage. So, I don't think people understand that. Yeah. Do you think that people have to work as hard as you did now to get on stages? You know how you sat there and no, wait to hear, okay. No, 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 because motherfuckers don't be getting bumped and You know how I many times I didn't thought I had my name on the list and thought I was getting up and got bumped because Special K walked in the building, or Big Sean walked in the building, or Steve Brown, mm -hmm. or whatever. Like, they don't feel it now. Yeah, no. they don't feel it now because it's comedians like me who accommodate them. Like, I'm going to try to put you on this list. But I'm like, nah, I'm... I went through the hazing process, and I appreciate it. Yeah, me too. I appreciate being hazed. Do you still haze? Would you, do you still Oh, haze? yeah, oh, yeah. I tell nigga, boy, you want shit. You the queen of Oh, it. I love it. it. Good. Because guess what, though? Mm -hmm. You say it, and you mean it, but you you will laugh and smile, and they'll take it lightly. But you like, I'm like, no. I yeah. Meant that. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, because yeah. for me, it just made it just made me want to be better and stronger and come mm -hmm. out swinging. Yeah, they gave me a hard time. Yeah, and I appreciate they it. They gave you a hard time because they saw it in you. They Probably saw so. it on you. They saw it on you. Yeah, yeah. And you just had to be funny, man. And yeah. it just makes you want to get up there and be funny. But we don't always want to be funny. Mm -hmm. We don't always want to be funny, and that's the thing, though. Like yeah. most times. We're funny when we up there, and then people want us to be funny. I'll be like, dog, I really don't right. feel like being funny today. Right. I really, I'm really not in the mood. Uh -huh. Yeah, and when people don't think you in the mood, they like, what's wrong? The world ended. No, nigga, I'm human. Right. How do you handle the human side when you don't want to be funny? What's your thing, your human thing that you say, you know what? I, I don't give a fuck about no stage. I ain't answering no phones. If it ain't in this house, I ain't got to deal with it. I do just that. That's it. I don't answer the phone. I take, I am the queen of taking my mental breaks when I need them. Okay. And not to say that my mental breaks be all pretty. Mm -hmm. You know, it just be a time that I might just need to be in my feelings, to cry, to be mad, to break a glass, to let the, you know, emotions are emotions. Yeah, they are. You feel envy. You feel jealousy sometimes. Yeah. It's just, you can't deny the feeling. It's how you handle it. Yeah. And I handle it with just praying to God, listening to God's music, talking shit to my mama. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's certain things I could say. I could get feelings out to my mama and to my best friend, certain things that I might not say. Yeah. But sometimes you just got to let it out and be like, whew, I'm so glad. Hell yeah, I said that, yeah. I said it. I needed to say it. This is how I feel. Yeah, because people think, and let's be very clear, people think that since we're comedians, we can't have opinion on mm -hmm. other things. You're mm -hmm. like, bitch, I'm still human. Mm -hmm. So my opinion, so for us, because we are like in the mud role comedians, mm -hmm. right? That's how we mm -hmm. started off. Mm -hmm. And I transitioned over to social media and it was hard mm -hmm. for me at first because I was one of those people like, shit, I'm a, a stand-up comedian. I, I'd be on the road like, mm -hmm. no, don't call me no damn internet right. comedian. Right. But it's like, nigga, sometimes I'd be looking at internet comedians like, the fuck? Yeah. The fuck? And if I say that, I'm a hater. Yeah. It's like, but no, I'm not a hater. I've been right. working so hard. Right. I've and been you, working so hard. And we should be able to have an opinion. That's. It seems like you can't have an opinion at all in anything that you do. Oh, in life, especially not in life. Don't talk about no touchy subject. Don't talk about the trans world. Don't talk about uh, religion. Don't talk about fucking government. Don't talk about right. any of that stuff. Because a lot of people want to cancel you. Like, I don't. 
I have a right to say I want my son to be gay. Yeah. That's I what, can say that if that's how the fuck I feel. That's how you feel. That's how people feel. But that's not saying I'm a, upset if somebody is gay. Right. Because I have an openly gay goddaughter, and she's my goddaughter, and I love her. But I don't want my but daughter I can, to be gay. Exa- I can sit here and say that I have an openly gay best friend cousin. But would I Ashton be allowed to be walking around here looking like Zaya Wade? Fuck no. Yeah. You yeah. won't. Maybe when you get grown. And you can do that. Yeah. And, and you can do whatever house. you want to do. But not when you're a teenager. You're not putting on no wig and no dress. You're going to goddamn put on that math book. Yeah. And take your ass to school. And figure it out and let the motions And shift figure if they out want to. your sexual preference later. Because I come from, I couldn't talk to my, go to my mama about what my sexual preference was at 14. I didn't have one. Yeah. Yeah. But you, I'm going to be completely honest. So I hear that. But I have a daughter. Mm-hmm. And she is 11. And she, but she looked like she's about 13. Mm-hmm. And now she is like feeling herself, not boy crazy, mm-hmm. but she like boy. She's in love with little baby. She screams for me to take her to the little baby concert. You I'm should like, take her to see little baby. I am going to take her to see little baby, but she's in love with little baby. Okay, I was in love with Michael Jackson. I know, but I'm like, oh my God. I mean, she's like, mama, look at my ring. That little baby got me. There's no ring it's on so her. so sweet. <laughs> you so, was in love? I know, but I'm like, what do I do when she, because I feel like she's going to start talking to me about boys if she want to tell me she love little baby. Oh, look, I, I, and you want her to. I be I leaving do. the door open, because look, leave the door open even for her to tell you about her little friends. Yeah, oh, Cause, absolutely. Because I be like, she did what, girl? I know you like. Yeah. That's how I be talking to Ash, like, no! <laughs> That's so he could just feel comfortable with coming to tell me his shit, yeah, too. Yeah, absolutely. You know, because we want them to be able to tell us, even if it's stuff that we don't want to hear. Cringy, yep. I told Savannah the other day, I said, listen, sweetheart, I'm gonna believe everything you say until you tell me something and it's a lie. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna always question you after that. She was like, okay. I said, yeah. so let's keep an open path, right? And that's exactly yeah. what it is. And even with friendships, and even in life, mm-hmm. I'm gonna believe everything that you tell me, Ashima, mm-hmm. until I find out something and it's not true. I'm like, oh, now I can't believe nothing you say. Right. And I think like even in our comedy world that we in now, mm-hmm. you ever see some comedians and they working and you like, oh, but you said you was gonna. I thought you said you were going to plug me. Oh, Lord, child. Oh, Lord, child. Lord, child. I done got past that. I just, I don't even get excited yeah, yeah, about yeah. stuff. You People tell get... me, like, I got you, I did this, I did that. I just feel like, okay. I, I'll see it when it comes. Most of the stuff that I've gotten is from people who I least thought I was going to get it from. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, oh, wow, thank you for thinking of me. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know you knew me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it don't ever come from. But your name, your name is in rooms. Our names are in rooms. She, everyone loves you. Like that's so sweet. You really have put your mark in the game, and you went through trials and tribulations. You had mm-hmm. through the thick and thin experiences where people thought mm-hmm. they probably counted you out, and you like, oh no, bitch. You know what? Me and K Dub, K Dub is so stupid. It's fuck. Oh, uh, <laughs> we laughed so hard the other day because we was talking about, um, you know me coming off the road with Kat. Yeah. And we was talking about, you know, we were just talking about how, you know, at, at some point during my years and touring with him, um, Kat has a way of really making you, and shout out to Kat Williams, but Kat has a way of really making you feel like you're out of here and you ain't never coming back to these <laughs> niggas, okay? <laughs> And uh, really I was treating that. niggas like that at one point. I was like, you know, kiss my ass. I never see you niggas again. Adios, amigo. Okay. <laughs> one ass on the phone, all type of shit. Cat said, I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm touring, and then everything comes happens. to an end. Mm-hmm. It happens. And I went through, you know, my feelings about it, but I got the fuck back out of here. Just the fuck you did. And so when me, when me and K-Dub was laughing about it, he was like, look, bitch, you told everybody to kiss your ass. <laughs> then you got your ass whooped. Then you came back out here was like, fuck it, I got my ass whooped. Hey, what's up? Yeah. He was like, you didn't run when you could have ran. Yeah. And I probably had thoughts of running, but, I mean, it happened. I'm so glad you didn't run. But where were you running from? Like, when yeah. you went... Your destiny was your destiny. I, I could have been running from embarrassment, yep. from being ashamed, from being humiliated, because I did feel all those feelings. But K-Dub was like, bitch, you got your ass back out here. was like, look, I'm sorry I answered the phone for y'all. I mean, I got my ass. Well, what else y'all need? <laughs> Can you put me on the list? <laughs> I, said, I said I did. And then he said, hell yeah, yeah you did. Yeah. You brought your ass back like that shit happened. And you should. And guess what? But when you're a monster and when you're a beast and you already put in that footwork. So the thing is, you weren't <sighs> just with Kat because you just a random ass girl. Right. You was with Kat because you was a monster. So you right. left the monster. Bye. Right. See y'all later. And right. they came back. They're like, oh, 
please, can we have you? So that, that feeling still was there. Of course they were salty. Just say you're sorry. Yeah. You told everybody to kiss your ass. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> I've been there. Just get on back out here. Just do your thing. It's, it's all good. Everybody love you. We love you. Come on back. Can I tell you? Yeah. yeah. I know he told you you was the queen of the world. Join the club, bitch. Me too. Okay. But get your ass on back out here. Stop hiding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's real that shit. Is real it happens, shit. man. It happens. I'm glad that we ain't high because we ain't got to. Yeah, this point, shit happens, man. That shit makes good comedy, though. Yes, like, our life experiences really make us who we are. Yes, Shima, people don't even know when we telling a story or not. Yes, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <Some> <laughs> bitch, I was. I want to answer phone from my mama child. I was like, look, I'm on to the cat wheels. What you need? Look, Dude, the money's in the mail. Hit me on the cash app. <laughs> I can't talk. Can't sit in here. I can't talk. Oh, you see, I was just doing. I'm in the, I'm in the podcast. <laughs> I got a sign. You can I just got a fucking illuminated. I'm out of here. I'm, I'm out of here. I got a fucking. <laughs> I'll never be in Mobile another day in my life. Mobile was me. Meanwhile, Mardi Gras come back. You know, that's a that. So did I come back like so? Uh, about the about the ball. How sweet lounge going? <laughs> Y'all still doing? It? Ah. <laughs> Thought that ass right on back. And guess what? And they welcomed you back. Yes, baby. It is what it is. It is what it, it happens, is. Child. It happens, child. It happens. Franklin, that's the part that people don't talk about. Yeah. The transparency part is real. Yeah. Women right now look up to you. Oh, wow. They look, they look up to you. They love you. They adore you. When they wow. see you on pictures, they're like, oh, my God. I can't believe you know Ashima. Ooh. Ashima Franklin from Mobile. Motherfucker who... <laughs> I be like, when, when women be coming up to me like that, I be like, me? But you know what? Let me just say this. I'm only saying it because I'm in your presence and I'm your friend, but uh -huh. people are... It's an honor to know you. Just like it's an honor to know us. Right. But we get so used to each other. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't want to... I don't want to degrade, like downgrade. But they should be excited to know you. <sighs> so what advice are, are you giving young girls? Are you okay or open to like the mentorship? Because they ask all the time, like, can you mentor me? I personally haven't taking on any light body to mentor because I just don't have time. And I, yeah. I'm like, bitch, I can't tell you nothing. Just child. be consist. It's a marathon. Baby, they be asking me to mentor me. They ask me to mentor I'm like, look, child, the only thing I can tell you is if you're going to fuck, fuck somebody with some money. <laughs> um, and even that might not work out. <laughs> um, <laughs> take it how you want it. Yeah. Um, stay on stage. Yeah. Always be a lady. And, and just demand your respect. Yeah. You know, and that was some of the, and everything I tell somebody is stuff I learned. It's not something that I just knew going into yeah. this, especially with the demand your respect part. You know, sometimes these men can be a little too comfortable. Yeah, they do. And it's because we in the male dominant industry and we be their friends. But when you, de when you command and demand your respect in a certain type of way, you get treated a certain type you of do. way. You do. And just stay on stage. That's it. That's it. Stay Ain't nothing stage. else to do. Because honestly, even if you told us what you did verbatim, left, right, up, down, this mic, this festival, this comedy show, mm -hmm. it's still going to look totally different. Everybody's path is different. Yeah. You just have to enjoy the path that you have and really not worry about nobody else's path. Now that you've been on, like, multiple tours, you actually got a dope-ass show coming up. Labor Day weekend, I seen that shit. That shit. This is my first time. Uh, so, it's so crazy. People don't be believing. I don't be knowing nobody, I, cause I don't. Like my first time meeting Jess Hilarious. My first time meeting Major Height. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, they're gonna love you both. Okay. They're gonna love you. Yeah. Yeah, cause I mean they know who you are. Okay. Uh huh. So. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They should. <laughs> Everyone knows Shima. Um, but you got all this stuff coming up. What do you prefer to do though, when it comes to like tours and shows? Are you a Give me an intimate 80-seater club. Are you giving me a 200 club? Are you like, fuck it, I want a theater. I want an arena. What are, what is, where is your comfort Ooh. zone when it comes to, and not saying that you can't do all of them because you've right. been everywhere. You've been in stages that people are like, what? Mm. Stadiums. Right. Right? Right. But what do you prefer to do? Like, where is Ashima Franklin going to sit in the pocket and be the best her, <sighs> kick her shit off, mm. kick her shoes off, drink her drink, and just give these people what the fuck they need? Undoubtedly. I am, I love them all. Let mm -hmm. me say that. I yeah, love them, them all. all. Yeah. But like you said, I am just my best when I'm in a comedy club, man. Yeah. Maybe a 200 seater, uh, 80 to a 200 seater, real 
comedy club with a microphone and a curtain behind me yeah. and a bar stool. Yeah. Then that's when you're going to get a lot of my improv, a lot of my off the dome, mm -hmm. a lot of my crowd work, because I enjoy doing crowd work. Yeah, I you, enjoy you showing dope people. You fucking crowd work. Yeah, I enjoy showing people that I could just come up with something like that on stage. Yeah. I think that's when you show your real comedic talent. Yeah. And really, uh, sometimes we can't really do that on the theater shows and arena shows because we have a time limit. Yeah, and it's so big. And then, mm -hmm. but in that small setting when it's 280 people, when you say something to the nigga in the front, yes. everybody can look at yes. it and it's perfect. Yeah. And it's so much fun. So it is. that's where I am, you know, in my comfort zone. Have you ever considered, <coughs> so, so comedy is something that we could do forever, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, I know people time out with sports mm -hmm. and Sometimes people even could time out with acting, you know, timing gotta be good for that actor shit. Mm -hmm. If you couldn't if you couldn't act, if you couldn't do comedy, what would you be doing? If oh you couldn't God. do none, if you couldn't do entertainment, I know you want you a star, I know. But if you couldn't do any of that shit, like where is that you say, I know I would excel here? I mean, if I wasn't doing this, I'd just be married to a rich white man. I wouldn't be doing shit. <laughs> I wouldn't be clocking in no goddamn well. I go and marry that rich white man that wanted to marry me some years ago and have me some rich little mixed kids and <laughs> ah! have these titties and drinking wine in the daytime and get my nails done on a Monday. Yeah. I don't want to do anything else but this. I love it. I love I'll it. I'll be a housewife. Yeah. Yeah, I would. Oh, you and you're going to be a real housewife, not one that's saying I want to open the boutique, I'm about to open it. I'm going to just sit in the house. Oh, you yeah, I'm going to cook and be a wife. Yeah. And her house to be clean and saving money and shit. Oh my and yeah, God. Yeah, and all into my kids. I'll probably have multiple kids. But yeah, I ain't trying to be no housewife with no, oh, I got to have my own. Uh uh. Yeah. Ain't doing shit but cooking, cleaning, fucking. <laughs> cooking, cleaning, and fucking. Sucking and, and doing it all over again the next day. <laughs> cooking, cleaning, fucking, sucking. Cooking, cleaning, fucking, sucking. Cooking, yeah. cleaning, fucking, sucking. Yeah. I yeah. would be a professional. <laughs> <laughs> you wish a bitch would. CEO, uh, cooking, cleaning, fucking, sucking. Cookie clean the fucking sucker. It could be a shark. It could be a shark. Cookie clean the fucking sucker. Cookie clean the fucking sucker. That's the improv. <laughs> That's I literally what I would be doing. Yeah. I'm not even just being funny. Yeah. Yeah. And you would be doing it effortlessly because you do all that shit already. Like. And I've had the chance to be a housewife a couple of times. I, at one point, I was the runaway bride. I was proposed to a couple of times. Oh, wait, hold on. Tell us about the runaway bride situation. Yes. <laughs> Well, I just, the first time I got proposed to, oh my God, he was the love of my life, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was going off into the military. And um, I had my ring and everything, and I was going to go. We were really young, though. I was only 20 years old. And um, my old hating ass mama. <laughs> <laughs> Divorced ass. Yeah, I bet I mean. Uh, was like, you got to be independent and have something for yourself. Yeah. You know, that's, and yeah. that's what she told me. And um, so I was like 19 and I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, um, which is like ulcers in your stomach and mm. your colon. And so I was hospitalized for a year behind this. Oh, this wow. was the first, it was the year I had got engaged. I had like three major operations and um, it was it was like a, a, a big thing. And so it was during Absolutely. that time on my deathbed where I was like, maybe I should do something for myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was on my deathbed. Oh, God, don't say on your toes. I was. I was, I was sick as hell during that time. And I was like, well, maybe I should experience a little more life. Yeah. yeah. And so he came to see me. She would always come to see me. He was off in the military, but he would always come down to Mobile and see me. And um, I told him that I was going to still marry him, but you know, I wanted to, to see life. The world, yeah. And he was like, well, no, if you want to marry me, baby, you got to come marry me now. Oh, shit. Yeah, and so probably about six months later, after we broke up, he married a girl that looks exactly like me. They're not still together, are they? They are together to this day. They look so happy. Just bought a house from my internet stalking. Yeah! <laughs> That's about a house. He's retired. Oh my God. They're living life. Living. Oh my God. That shit. <laughs> they have a handsome son. Oh my God. I'm going to the nigga page. I'm going to report the nigga page for nudity now. He's not even Nobody's going to see that he's shit. He's not even on uh, social media. I'll be looking on his wife page. Oh God. I mean, when I talk about happily ever after, nigga, yeah. they are happily ever after. 
And then the second time I was going to get married <laughs> oh was when I was dating the football coach. And then I got the job with Airtran, and he was just like, I love you, but I don't want to do uh, long distance. Yeah. So he kind of let me go to go and be happy. And that's good. But y'all still good friends. Oh, my God. We are great friends. And yeah. he is married and just, I'm happy for him. Okay, good. That's yeah. perfect. Um, I'm okay. always friends with my exes. That shit ain't working for me. I'm never enemies with my exes. Oh, no. I'm saying I'm going to, they always hate me. Like, you ruined my life. I thought I was going to be with you. I can't believe you left me. I'm like, oh. yeah. Yeah, because I be so loyal and then they hurt me. And then I'm done. I think they own the space because I be such a good person. Right. And for me just to leave. Because I'll just leave. Yeah. Like all my ex, I just left. Like it's always been something like cheating. So cheating. you just leave? I just leave. And okay. It, yeah. I ain't the girl that's going to stick around. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then I get with James. I'm like, I love him. Right. Yeah. Please don't hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> You love James, child. I love the fuck out of James. You said, yeah, I remember your story. You told me you met James. He was like, please don't leave. Please don't leave. <laughs> Asked him to stop selling drugs and everything. Please don't leave. I was like, you motherfucker, shit. I killed him. You were like, please. You said you cried. I was like, please don't leave. Am I telling too much of your business? No, that's good. The bitch cried. Like, please don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what she told us on tour. She was like, she was like, he fucked me. I said, please, stay. I said, damn, why you do that? I mean, he's out of town. He stayed. He showed me. He showed it. He showed everything that was up there. Stayed. Came back to his apartment. His sister cleaned it up and left. We just. So many people always reference y'all relationship. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, they do. But they Kelly and James is like a Will and Jada, oh. like a T.I. and Tiny in the comedy world. Thank you. I don't yeah. know if you know that or not, <laughs> yeah. but people always, when they talk about y'all relationship, and, and the thing is, because of, when we're female comics, it's hard for us to have a supportive husband Hell like that. Hell yeah, niggas be hating. And especially when you are a dominant force, because there's a lot of females that they, they, um, uh huh. We, I mean, we step in the room and the world stop. Yeah. Carry on. So it, it take a man, man, to be like, go ahead, bitch. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, I have James have never told me I'm doing too much. As a matter of fact, he like, I don't understand why you ain't acting like you right now. Wow. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. he hypes you up. He do. He do. He hypes so me good. up. He hyped me up. Yeah. Who's your hype person? Who's the person that hype you up? The person that you could call like without a shadow of a doubt, and you gonna go crazy with? Who is your hype person? Uh. Probably my mama. Your mama? My mama. My mom is my hype person. My yeah. mama, she always, ooh, Lord, I just don't know what I do without my mama. My mama keep me grounded. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, she just, she have a way of just reminding me of who I am. Love it. Even when I forget it. Yeah. My mama be bringing up, she don't be like, you know what, you right. You right. And her main thing is, bitch, you my child. You my child. The fuck? The fuck? You might look like your daddy, but you think like your mama. She's always told me that yeah. my entire life. You might look like your daddy, but you got a brain like your mama. Yeah. And you got hustle like your mama. Yeah. She's always tell me that. Yeah. And then when I was a little girl, I used to be like, oh, okay, well, I look like my dad. But, yeah, my mama is my, my hype person. Yeah. I think that at this point, like, our mamas, I was just raised by a single mom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you, your dad was there though, right? Uh, my stepdad was there. Your stepdad. So mm -hmm. I didn't have nobody there. Even my brother and sister dad, he was there, but he was so jealous mm -hmm. of the relationship that my mom had with me. I'm like, nigga, I don't have a daddy. Mm -hmm. That's why she loving on me like this. You know what I'm saying? You here with your kids. Right. He was jealous of that. That that made me and my mama close. But my mama absolutely adore you. Oh, I love your mama. My yeah. mama think you her daughter. I'm like, I know. Mama, yeah. I know. Everybody mama love me, and I love your mama. Yeah, but everybody mama love you because you got this older spirit. You yeah. got this, like... Yeah, you your mama her. connected over dressing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She made you some. My mama bought you Tupperware mode. Yeah, we connected over dressing and recipes yeah. and shit. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I made her some. And let me tell you something. I really took my time with that dress because I knew your mama was coming over to take it. <laughs> and your mama tell you, she said, you did good. You did good. She said, you did good. Yeah. She gave me this like, you did good. Yeah. It could have been better, but you did good. Considering she knew where I came from with yeah. it. Yeah, see, my mama, my mom is going to go to a restaurant and pay some shit like uh -huh. I could have did this. I'm like, mama, uh -huh, please, uh -huh, uh -huh. please, can't something, can't nothing be right for her. But I love that though. Yeah. Your mama's a cook. So my mama's a that's cook. That's how we connected. Yeah. yeah. So now that you are, now that you are like, you letting go and, and letting God. That's exactly mm -hmm. what you're doing, right? I mm -hmm. think when we were reminded of who we are, what we've done, where we come from, what are you looking forward to next? Are you creating your own opportunities? Are you collabing with people? Like, what are you doing now? Because I know you love New York. Yeah. She loves 
I'm always in New York. She loves me. She's a New I Yorker. Am. I am a New Yorker. Yeah, she has ear pods and she walks on the train. She yeah, a, I do. And she doesn't speak to people. I do. And I love the bodegas. And she does, I love a bodega, baby. You give me a croissant from a bodega. Oh my God. You yeah. hear me? I yes. want it. I and, and Kelly, you you was in New York. I don't understand why you don't miss it. Because I love it here. I'm from the Midwest and I love New York, but I love the South. So you was born in the South. Okay. I love this Southern hospitality. Mm -hmm. I love this energy. And I definitely love Atlanta, where black people are just popping. Mm -hmm. And if you ain't popping here, you just ain't, you ain't working hard enough. Mm -hmm. And in New York, it was just so much fast paced. It movement. is. It is. It is. It is. And I'm like, and I did it. And they love me. And I, and I could do whatever I want to do. I'm like, uh, take me to a, take me to Atlanta. You'd rather come to Atlanta. Take me to Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. I think it's the opposite for me. Yeah, I know it's the opposite for you. Yeah. And and what is that? Is it the is it? Is I knew I wanted to be. It's so crazy because I knew I wanted to be in New York the first time I went, mm -hmm. but I didn't go. Number one, because I had a baby, mm -hmm. and New York is expensive, mm -hmm. and it just didn't seem like I could do it. Yeah. You know, I was scared. Yeah. And my comfort zone was here, and I had more help here. I think now, especially now that Ashton is in high school, I literally just had this conversation with myself the other day. I had to. What's next for me is me doing more. I always put being a mom first, and I'm always going to be a mom first. Mm -hmm. um, but I have the help. I don't take full advantage of the help like I should yeah. because I just want to be hands-on with my kid. Yeah. And I like to parent a certain type of way, and it's hard to parent over FaceTime and over the phone. Mm -hmm. And I, when something's not done the way I would do it, I get an attitude. Yeah. Might even be a tad bit rude with a motherfucker that's helping me. Yeah. So I am saying that I'm going to put a shima. First. First. Yep. I have, I'm, I'm still raising Ashton, but Ashton is 14 years old. He knows what this is. He understands. Yeah. He, he is literally giving me permission to say like, mama, go out there and do what you're supposed to be doing. I'm fine. I'm here with my dad. I'm yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. And it it's it, it's taking a lot for me to let I'm never letting go, but it's taking me a lot to loosen up. And, but the thing is, the doors are going to just fly open. They were waiting for you to to come knock at them. You get what I'm saying? And that's yeah. what it is. We all live in fear. And when we live in fear, it's like, why would we do that? Why are we thinking about what's the worst thing? He good. He's yeah. good. He's good. He's good. And it was hard for me twice to crawl on a plane. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you leave your child. You, yeah. you People don't understand, like, being a female comedian with a, a child is not easy when you are an active parent. Now, if you're a deadbeat-ass yeah. woman, that's fine. I love taking my son to school. I love picking him up. I love having dinner. We sit at the table. We talk. I just, I just think more so I had to just make sure I just instill, instill, instill in him. Mm -hmm. You know, because he always tell me, like, out of everybody in his life, mama, you the hardest on me. Yeah. And I'm like, and I'm always going to be hard on you. Yeah. It's just what I do is how my mommy is on me. But you will understand that when you get older. It's going to matter, matter later. I, I'd rather mm -hmm. it matter later. Mm -hmm. I what we got later going to be, I got way more later years than these mm -hmm. younger years. This mm -hmm. is my training course. And Savannah said that too. Now, I have been guilty. Have you been guilty of overcompensating because we on the road? I overcompensate. Yeah. But I keep that foot on that neck. Yeah. I do it at the same time. Yeah. Like, I, I Ashton get whatever he want. I always have. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the foot be on the neck. Yeah. Yeah. People he gets so much stuff, he don't even be impressed. Yeah. No more. He don't be impressed. Savannah actually irritates me in the stores. Cause she be on her phone. I'm like, we're looking for clothes. She's like, I don't, I don't mind the mood. You're not in the mood. I wish my mama would take me to the store. Yeah. And me not be in the mood for yeah. clothes. Well, that's because we've been doing a great thing. So New York is it. Mm -hmm. New York is it. What what's going on in New York? Um, so just doing more of the mainstream stuff, yep. you know, sitting in my veils and actually being there. Yeah. You know, I'm actually going to be there. Yeah. So that's just, and just, just, just doing so more for me. For just cause I just know like everything is just going to fall in place. It's falling. It's fell. It's, yeah. it's in place. It's in place. We walking in place. Do you ever think that sometimes when we say. Cause um, the next four years for me are crucial. Yeah. Come on. You know, cause Ash will be out of high school. He'll be going to college and I won't have, uh, what is it, the word I'm, I'm looking for? I have, as far as financial help. 
uh -huh. that I that I depend on. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Next yeah. four years. Next four years. No, I no, not... no. No, until he graduate college. You have it. Yeah, it is till he graduate college. Yes, it is. Um, and I told that motherfucker, your ass going with we go together. <laughs> 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 But that I depend on and yeah. I, I live yeah. the necessities off of it. That's real. So that's another reason why I'm just like, okay, I really got to go, 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 yeah. go. That way, that'll just be petty cash or extra cash. Yeah, I and love I it. And I won't be so dependent on that. That's some real shit. That's mm -hmm. some adult shit. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's the truth. Do you feel like sometimes us, we kind of like late bloomers, comedians, like we kind of like, we don't take adult shit too serious a lot of times. Oh, uh, absolutely. Okay, I thought I was the only one. I'm like, damn, I am so sophomore. Girl, I am 43 years old. Jess and I try to get my credit together. Yeah, listen. <laughs> hey, listen, I just told my friends, hey, y'all, listen, y'all watch them reds and them black separate. They're like, what, bitch? Right, right. I'm just uh, not I invested in stocks. Like, yeah. Because we, we have a job that we go to when we want to. And it's fun and it's young and it's... And it's youthful. And we make money. And, and, and I'm so irresponsible with money. Because I'd literally be like, all right, I'm going to spend this one. I got this show on Friday. Yeah. Oh, I got this show on, on we Thursday. We treat it I like, like drug money. We do. We treat it. We, we do. We treat comedy money like drug money because we, we know, like, I'm going to go re-up. Yeah. Friday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to re-up. I'm like, ah. I uh, ordered this $6 to $8 a door dash yeah. for a burger. Yeah, for a burger. Yeah. Oh, definitely on the road. We definitely. Oh, my God. Crazy. Well, the thing is, now I live a much frugal life. Um, if a, a promoter is paying for something, I'm going all out. But if I'm paying it, I want to go to Wendy's. <sighs> Give me a four for four. Okay. But you not. She may not. She no, I, I eat a no, four for four. No, you know, you want Papa Do's. She may like, I do want Papa Do's. I, I eat a four for four when I'm down to my last four dollars. That's a, I got to be broke before, you know what I'm saying? But you let me get a deposit. I'm throwing that bowl of cereal on the floor, and I'm running out. I'm so irresponsible. It don't make no sense. Is that a cash app chain? Yeah, Would that deposit a... come through? Oh my god! Yeah, I gotta do better though. See, people don't understand though. Like that deposit money, dog. Dog, that's the worst thing because now you have to. Get... I have people pay me too early. Don't pay me three, four, five months in advance. Sometimes you pay me too early. I have to cancel and send it back. Yeah, but I need that money then. I need. <laughs> you ever take a deposit? Knowing yeah, you ain't gonna do the show. <laughs> I did that shit a couple of times. I took the deposit money because the car note was due that day. Need it. No one ain't gonna be able to make that show. Yeah. Send it back a month later. Yeah, like I'm sorry. Yeah, my yeah, bad. But, hey, my bad, but this is my homegirl. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. We well, I, I blame it on the age I got double booked. Hey, <laughs> <I ain't> shit. <laughs> <laughs> the rent was due though. What's your favorite place to work? Outside of New York? Outside of New York. Uh, a city that you go to, you're like, I love it. It's refreshing here. I love going to LA, believe it or not. I but like I like LA. I like going in and out of LA. Yeah, I, yeah. I love going to Chicago. I Chicago, love Chicago just, oh my God, my Chicago family, they make me feel so good. We're different in the Midwest, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it. Oh, Detroit, what up, though? I love Detroit, too. <laughs> yes, I love Detroit. I know you love Detroit. You were super close with Kool Aid. Kool Aid. Mm -hmm. um, I talked about this earlier. It's just last year, I was, the the hit that the comedy world took. Oof. And I feel like it was really in Atlanta. Oh my God. The hit just happened back to back Dirty South, Nar, Clay, mm -hmm. um, Marcus Cone. Oh. It was like, wow. I'm about to change my profession. <laughs> I was supposed to be a fucking school teacher. I was, like, oh. I was gonna move back to Milwaukee. Like, right. oh, what the fuck they got going on? Right. It's a plague in Atlanta. Right. <laughs> I was supposed to be out of here. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> yeah, no, it's serious. Because, you know, we be feeling immortal. Mm hmm. I'll be like, because I think back, I think about everything that Marcus Combs have done, all the nights that Dirty South was in the club telling jokes, mm -hmm. Tyler Craig, mm -hmm. and Tyler. then it's just like, now you gone? I was just saying, you know, you would know you killing when you would hear Dirty South in the back like, ah! Yeah! Yeah! Ah! Yeah. Ah! yeah! Yeah. And then you would know that motherfuckers not killing you, like, what the fuck? Yeah. I, I, I give Dirty South my credit for being a beast. Come on. Because I used to have to follow her. Yeah. Follow Dirty South? Yeah. I used to be, I used to, well, especially when I first started, I used to be like, oh, when I see her walk in the building. Not because I didn't want her, because <laughs> I loved her, yeah. but I used to be like, I know she's gonna get me put this heat on my ass. Yeah. She hitting the split. I see, I missed the hitting the split era. Yeah. I missed all that taking her leg behind oh, her head. Oh my God. So uh, I got here, you know, only been here six years. So yeah. I got here like the later part of Dirty South, but I absolutely loved her. Mm -hmm. And you know, that was one of the things because a lot of times, you, you can contest to this. 
unfortunately, when people ask us, see, you may have more female comedians that you're closer to, but it it was more guys that welcomed me into the game mm -hmm. than women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, women more more like, uh, okay, yeah, you are, you know. But dudes yeah. like, oh shit, this what you gotta do. Oh, you my sister. Yeah. And I put them in the brothers' zone. Yeah, yeah. brother, or whatever. But Dirty South was like, bitch, you're funny. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, Keep you? going. Oh, yeah. yeah. She was like, yeah. Yeah, she was that person. <laughs> she was that person. She was encouraging. Yeah. Are you encouraging to the females? I am. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. I am. Mm -hmm. I love them. They they call my phone. That's why I don't want to be a mentor. I just want to be, this is just, you know how I am, Mashima. Mm -hmm. I just want to build everybody up. And sometimes mm -hmm. I be thinking like, bitch, <coughs> you may have to be a little bit mean. Um, I, I, I'm encouraging to the female comics. Um, I'm encouraging to those if I see it in you, mm -hmm. if I see that you just not up here just to be cute, mm -hmm. just because you just want to be around some niggas mm -hmm. and like you funny, mm -hmm. then I kind of might ignore you. But if I see you and watch you on stage and see you ain't scared and see that you really do this, then I, I'm definitely going to ignore you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm the queen of ignoring a motherfucker, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I would ignore somebody in a minute. Yeah. Like, bitch. I'm like, this is yeah. Yeah. Would you do any more reality TV? Mm. Would you do any more reality Most TV? Because you were definitely a highlight. Like, people loved you on fucking Ready Love. Love. They loved you I on there. I still get people, somebody just walked up to me in Philly. I still get people, Ready to Love, Ready to Love, Ready to Love. You gave that, you gave them what they was looking for. You I had fun doing yeah. Ready to Love. Yeah, so you would, do, would you do another Ready to Love type of show? Or would you do more of a love and hip hop type of show? Would I would do, do any of them, I'm just not fighting. I'm not fighting. I'm running. I ain't in a fight. Girl, you finna pull my hair? Hit me in my face. I'm like, ah, uh -uh, security, get this bitch. <laughs> so you ain't doing a bad girl stuff. No, no, no. You ain't doing a baddies west. I'm bitch. disgusted with that. Oh my god. I'm not gonna do all that fighting, Kelly. Yeah. It just, uh, uh. Why, why would we? Girl, you scratch me face. My bruise? face. You hit me. Mm -mm. I want James to jump in. Mm -mm. I'm like, can James? I want somebody to jump I'm in. I'm going, James. I'm gonna hit you with some. Yeah. You're not gonna get to me. Yeah. I don't fight. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. people try to fight me, I'm not fighting you. Yeah. I'm going to get you the fuck away from me, and I'm calling the police. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to jail, bitch. You try to put your hand on me. I'm going to fight you, but um, I don't want to fight. I don't want to get hit in my face. I don't want my hair pulled. I don't want to break my nails. I'm going to avoid the physical altercation at all costs. You and know what, Shima? I'm going to take on that Shima approach. I want to avoid... Uh, yes, I don't even. I don't even usually don't even have that type of energy around me. But if, if the shit happened, so I said I would do reality TV. I just don't want nobody to like pull my family in it. You get what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. low blow shit. Like then I'm then I'm gonna fight. When they be trying to cast me for the like whenever they be having these reality shows about female comedians, I think I'll never get casted because I don't think I'm negative enough in my interviews. Me neither. I know that's what it is. Yeah. I, I'm trying to be like a light hearted, but I'm like. They're like, say something else. I'm like, that's it. Yeah. I don't give, I mean, what you want me to say? Yeah, I'm not that girl. I'm not mad. I'm like, what's up? Because that'd be like, and I'm gonna, maybe I just use it. How you feel about Kelly Kelly? Like, that's my dog. Yeah. You know, I feel like they won it. And I don't know, maybe we need to just create a beef and just play it off. But don't fight, though. We, we just so we can get on the show. We can create a beef. Yeah, just be like, I can't stand it, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah. I, and everybody, I was lying. Those are tracks in her head. I'm yeah, 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 yeah. But then, but then we don't fight, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I ain't fight you, bitch. We can't. You throw some water in my face. I be like, I did, I did. My hair just got a silk press. We throw some water on each other. <laughs> bitch, get the fuck out of here. And then go Kick to bed. Kick our shoes off and then leave. Toss some bitch, we killed these hoes. <laughs> and be sleeping in the same room the same night. How you think it was tonight? <laughs> You think we didn't bitch, you got wine in my eye, bitch. I ain't fucking with you. I said water, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's good because I have met oh. something years ago that people don't like positively, but I think people like, um, what's her name? Tabitha. Brown. Yeah. She killing it. Oh, I love Tabitha. Tabitha. Sarah Jace is killing it. Oh, like, I love Sarah. It's a lot of positive people. Like, I, ain't, I don't yeah. want to be all neg negative and mean. We ain't got to be all We ain't got to be that. No. We ain't got to be that. But it's ironically, me and you get casted for a lot of the same shit. Yeah, we do. We do. We call each other like... We might have to go and just create a beef, just a fake beef, just to get on the show. Fuck it. Okay. It's yeah. been said. We gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, we gonna create a beef. We gonna create a beef. <laughs> yeah. Next time they call it like, I, yeah, I don't really deal with her. You know what? Kelly got on my fucking nerves. You know, she thought she all that shit had the surgery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember motherfucker worked at the hotels. Yeah, motherfucker was still in rooms. I'm gonna get the line and shit. You didn't even know me then. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I used to, I used to have a hookup, right? 
Because you gotta, you gotta remember, I was 19, 20, oh, yeah. working in a hotel, so my friends used to come <laughs> give me money for rooms. I used to get them room keys, put the room on like uh, D and D, meaning like it was like dirty or something. Yeah. And tell them don't use. Oh, I used to get them towels. I'd be like, don't use no towels in there. Here goes some towels. This is so terrible. Let them go in there, screw, yeah. and give me the key back. Thanks. Uh, Run that up. Oh, I just make so much money. <laughs> Why was that terrible? That was an investment. That was good. I just like, Mom, I got the bills. It's yeah. mine. Don't you worry about it. Yeah. Six people not supposed to do this thing, bro. Six people to fuck. I ain't even changed the sheets. <laughs> I, I brought that up for Walmart. Goddamn, Corey, you are about Mary. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Ashima. Mm -hmm. Ashima, you are the energy that the, the game needs. Keep being yourself, dog. I think that shit is perfect. How you are, I want to say. You, you nice, nasty, and everybody know it. Like, you super nice, but you like, bitch, yeah, you want to earn it, and I love that. Yeah. You, you know, everybody's not like that, and, but the way you do it is perfect. It's going to keep the fucking game honest. It's going to keep it honest, and and when you feel a shift to come, you will shift if you want to, or if not, bitch, you will do whatever you want to do. I've definitely had to build this this armor. Like, okay. you got to be strong. Yeah. You got to be strong in this, especially when... You know, you kind of been through some of the things I've been through, and then just some of the things I'm still going through yeah, with, yeah. you know, just life, life and yeah. personal life. Well, it's it's different when your personal life is involved with your career. Yeah, it's a lot to come along with that. But I have, have and to say, and if people think they understand and they have no clue, oh, they have no idea. They have no idea. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud of me though. I'm proud of you too. Yeah. Every time I look at you, I'm proud of you. Oh, I'm yeah. Proud of you and too, I'm Kelly. glad that I'm um, you, my real friend. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the real thing. Real. You my real friend. We did. We did. We first meet in, in New, New York, York at Smoky Room at Mocha's. At Mocha's. Yeah. At the yeah at the first Monday night. The, listen to what I'm telling you though. I'm I'm in there, thinking I'm the shit. I am. Mm -hmm. It's like a shame here. Shima's who's that? She right there. She don't talk at me. Who the fuck is that? It's me. I don't know what she is. I don't know. You getting that bitch had me dying laughing. Can I tell you my favorite joke? Or, or part of your favorite one of my jokes when you said, I don't know what it is about my son's birthday that made me want to fuck my baby dad. <laughs> we like eyes over the like, cake. Yeah, you like eyes over the cake. I was wrong. So many people say they laugh at that, that joke. That shit is hilarious. It was I, real shit. He was like, yeah, because everybody thought about it like, dog, for real. Like, we just made a baby. Let's make another one. But it's something about that birthday cake. Something about that cake. So I was like, I love you. I met mm -hmm. you. Um, I met Ashima. I mm -hmm. said, I'm coming to Atlanta. She's like, call me. I called Ashima. Three, four, five, eight, twelve. Times? Fifteen. Kim, um, what year was this? <laughs> I don't know, but you wouldn't answer me. I might have been on tour. I probably couldn't. I probably was like, ah, this bitch don't know I'm the shit. <laughs> Voicemail. <laughs> Cat said I can't talk. Voicemail. <laughs> but it wasn't no bribe. Like, cause I've never felt like nobody owed a, a pickup, right? Mm -hmm. I still don't feel like that. But then I got down here. And you was like, girl, where you been? I was like, bitch. Man, but then, man, you had linked up again. Um, you came to see me at Salsa. Absolutely. Come Fago that night. Mm -hmm. It was me, you, and K-Dub mm -hmm. that night. You always showed up, showed up. And I'm going to always do that. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, I really am mm -hmm. support. I really be wanting to support. Your wins are my wins. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to always ride your wins. Mm -hmm. Just like I want you, my wins are your wins. Because anything that I feel like you're doing, you only setting it up to to push it to your people. So did you start in Milwaukee? I started in Milwaukee. What I, year? Like, how long you been doing comic Kids? 14 years. OK. Mother's Day just made 14 years. Okay. How many years has it been for you? Same time. I, maybe almost 15. I might have had you by a few months, yeah, maybe. Yeah, so Mother's Day made 14 years. I started in Milwaukee. I was going back and forth from Milwaukee to Chicago, hitting up jokes and notes with Mary. Then I headlined there and did all that. I'm like, OK. Then, of course, I just took the whole Midwest, right? And so when you in the Midwest, it's, if you don't go down, it's, this shit is regional. This shit is broken mm -hmm. up regionally. And you have to know that. So I did the whole Midwest. I'm like, oh, I'm killing shit. Then I just moved to New York. And I'm like, I do the whole East Coast. I'm like, oh, I'm killing shit. And that's where I started seeing you. Yeah. And then Damn Fool used to talk about you and James all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, cause Damn Fool nigga. say he would stay with y'all sometimes. He did, yeah. Him and Fredo. He was one of the first people I started hearing talk about you was Damn Fool. Yeah, that's yeah. my nigga. I just saw him too when they just filmed it. You know they filmed. The new season of Comic View. Oh, yeah, you was in Vegas. Yeah. Yes. I was like, well, that shit seemed like a secret. Until yeah, it was I'm... a secret. They only did um four episodes. Yeah. Yeah, they only did four episodes. It's a pilot. It seemed like it was a secret until the weekend of the, of the taping. Yeah, I pulled yeah. up. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, James was like, 
I laid there. It was 12 o'clock. James was like, you should be there. So you just got a flight that day? That day. The flight left at 4.52. I, it was noon. I'm laying in the bed. James was like, you know, he, at like 1.30, one, no, like at 1.15, James was like, I found a flight. If you want to go out there, I think you should be out there at network. I was like, oh, cool, 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 cool. I, I really planned on sleeping this whole weekend, the whole little situation. He was like, yeah, you might as well just go out there. Booked the flight, booked me a car. How was it? It was cool. Um, so, because Kevin Hart always have that weekend, doesn't he? That was his he? first weekend doing that. He's going to keep doing that. that was his first oh, I weekend. thought he always had the Kevin Hart weekend. That was his first weekend doing it in Vegas. Oh, well, he usually did it at. Oh, I don't know. That's they, they said his heartbeat weekend. That was his first one there. He was like, y'all want me to keep it going? Nigga, it was a Jack Harlow concert. I mean, he had concerts, so, pool party, everything. All was, that. I was went that to free all that for shit. comedians? I mean, it was free for me. So, so you get out there. I get who out do there. you contact? Um, who did I call when I went out there? I called T.I. Okay. Yeah, I called T.I. <laughs> <laughs> she got, you know, she called him by his real name and shit. <laughs> Tip Harris. I called T.I. Like, hey, I'm coming. Put me on the list. You called him? He answered? Yeah. And he's about to film like in an hour. Oh, I don't even have his number. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> then I called K Dub. And then I was like, they both was there. Like, I'm like, that's cool. I was gonna get in the room. There's no room that I'm not gonna get in. Period. Yeah. And then I found out that Royal Watkins was over it. And then Chris oh, Spencer. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, that Chris Spencer then was all there. So Tony Roberts then was there. LeVar and them, all of them was there. It was enough motherfuckers for you to it call. It was enough motherfuckers for me to call. So yeah, but K Doug came and got me, walked me right through that bitch, and then it was over. And then he left me. Okay, well he got you. That's in. K Dub. Yeah, I love him. I absolutely love K Dub. He like, bitch, I'm, I'm gonna go get a burger. That's my dog. That's my dog. Yeah. And so he got me in, and it was over. And then the next day, um, shit, I had a wristband. Uh, oh, for the weekend. For the weekend, Kevin Hart wristband in all the events. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Shit. Yeah. And I was just so glad that I did that shit. I'm like, oh, it was perfect just for me to see it. And I heard I, that was about to do it here. I met. So so many people that I'm like, oh, I, I didn't have to film. You know, I go in that motherfucker. Hey, I'm Kelly Kelly. They're like, I, I, thank you. Oh, let's let's meet. Cause that 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 creates for the next one. Yeah, oh, and that's what we're doing. Do. We're creating. Right. We're creating. Tell them what you got say. going on. Tell them say I called Ti. <laughs> I know. I, didn't. I had time to tee up Jeezy on the line. Told him I was at the door. <laughs> Jeezy came and got me from the door. <laughs> Ti was like, what's your real, what's your whole name, Kelly? Oh, that is so funny. That's so funny. I like T.I. I do, too. Let me tell you, it's I so like funny. Tiny. I'm, I'm going to say this before I go, it's so funny. Give it to us. Because I went to to the T.I. and Jeezy concert at the Tabernacle last week, celebrate the 50 years of hip-hop. Mm -hmm. And even I love I loved Tip. It is just like, okay, I see him doing the comedy or whatever, and that's all cool. But when that nigga get on stage and be T.I., I was like literally sc screaming and hollering. Mm -hmm. Cause I, cause I be forgetting because he's doing comedy now. Sometimes it makes me forget that this nigga is Ti and how much of a fan I am of Dope Boys in the trap and everything else that he do. Nigga, girl, I was like literally jumping up and down. And screaming. I was and like, then, nigga, I want to say, stop doing comedy and, then, <laughs> and do this shit. <laughs> Cause he's so fucking good. He's so I love cold. to see that nigga rap and dance. Yeah. I love it. He's he put on a fucking show, man. And then he come back to the comedy time. It, it seems like he's just a regular comedian. And he's just, it's like he's a regular person. Yeah, but yeah, that nigga is cold. I but love when that it. nigga get to fucking rapping and doing his little dance and do it, man, nigga, girl, I lost my voice. Why the fuck you didn't tell me? I would have came with you. I would have went with you. Literally not knowing that when he get off the stage, we could literally text him and be like, that was a good show. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, that's what's going that's on. That's fun, though, when you think about it. That's it's, fun. And, and that's yeah. what I was saying. So that's why I like this interaction. It's black excellence, man. I'm literally, you can literally just tap in with people. And then they're like, oh, I love who you are. Fuck what you're doing. Right. I love your character. And now, yeah. what's up? Let's link up and let's build. Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. I'm in Vegas. And what's up? Let me get a wristband. That was dope. That's dope. That was dope. That's that's dope that we can sit here and say, motherfucker, you can hit T.I. up and he come and get you and be like, that's that's big shit. The places comedy would take you and the people that you would meet. Yeah. I and just did a prison. It's just a prison where? In Philly. I did an all-male prison, 200 inmates um, at a federal prison. Dude, you got to do Rikers. 
Yeah. Yeah, you got to do Rikers. Rikers ain't no fucking punk. Dude. Yeah. 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 Uh, it was what you talking about, Seema? Let me tell you something. Them niggas had me feeling like I was Beyonce. Yeah! I, mean, I couldn't even get no jokes out because they was doing shit like that. Yeah, and that shit's turned into a q and <laughs> I'm about to get it did. I was like, anybody got some money they need to move around in my name? It was a couple of dope boys. They was there. dying. Oh, they had I was like, I ain't shit when you go to jail, but I'm the shit when you get out. Now, when you go to jail, I'm probably with your brother. Yeah. But <laughs> I know they was weak as fuck. But them niggas had on chains, fly ass tennis shoes, haircuts. I mean, oh, bitch, you was some fine ass niggas. That's why I got some fine ass niggas in doing bad. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. I, gave, I gave out my email address. I got a couple of emails. I was like literally saying, the real Ashima <laughs> Franklin. <laughs> I said, if you get down within the next 60 days, I got you now. I got ah, you. I was making sure. It's a reality show. And so look, Ooh. they had my flyer on the prison walls. Oh, and the correction officer that was walking me through the prison was like, man, they've been waiting on you. They've been waiting on you. That's so big. So a lot of them took the flyers off the wall and mm -hmm. had me autograph it. And then I was kissing it, putting the red that's lipstick dope. on. And see, that's what they, that, look at you. You smiling from so hard. People don't understand. These are the type of shows that are like life changing. They're them. loving They're them. life changing. That's yeah. stuff that you talk about for years. And it's so rewarding being a comedian. It's we are a tr we transfer energies. I felt so beautiful. <laughs> I said, I don't get this much attention from the niggas on the outside. <laughs> Shit. I said, me and my girlfriends, we come back to this motherfucker. <laughs> what brunch. <laughs> what y'all doing after this? <laughs> I brunch. I wish I would go to brunch, bitch. I want to come up here. <laughs> oh, I, I love them. I miss them. Were you the oh. <laughs> I do. Were you the only comedian? It was two men and me, but I was the headliner. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was so nervous mm -mm. because it was all men and you know my were show. They, were they laughing at the guys? They was laughing, but baby. They died with you. Oh, they was hooting, hollering, oh, couldn't yeah. even sit down with me. Oh, it wasn't even nothing to compare. These titties, oh. And they tried to have like a strict, um, um, uh, strict policy with the. With your, what you wore? But you can't hide these titties. You ain't hide some titties. They put a brick wall over them, they still can see them. Exactly. I had on the button up and some jeans and a blazer, but when I got off stage, I had took the blazer off. Absolutely. So they can see these titties. See these titties. Oh, I did this. They deserve it. They did. I did it for like two minutes. They was like, keep it going. You could have just did this the whole show. The whole time. They was dying. Keep commissary. Right. Right. Asima, my jaws hurt. Dog, this is the this is the energy I be needing. Dude. Oh, I love this was so much fun. This is funny. We could do this all day. We could kick kick all we day. We literally can. We can. But listen, we can't because okay. I gotta go. Okay. All right. All right. Shit. Listen, you have so many layers. You, the journey mm -hmm. is on you. It ain't even it ain't even begin. And I, I, I that's why I was saying earlier to this point. A lot of times we say things like, once again. A lot of times we say things like, man, you know, when the journey we. I'm at this point in the journey. Like, our, our whole life has been a journey. It's just a mm -hmm. different level. It is. Everything that you did was necessary for this time that you're going through right, right now. Right, right. That wall of memories and, and that your, your gratitude wall, that's real. Yeah. Those accomplishments don't just fade out because the time went away. Right. Those are still who you are. Yeah. Those are accolades. And, and we our, have to appreciate that, Kelly. Yeah, yeah, we do. And we have to celebrate everything that we're doing mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Nothing we do is small. Right. Nothing we do is small. And if we're around anybody who thinks that we're doing something small, they can't be around us. Everything right. that we're doing is major because all it is is a building block for whatever is next. Right. Tell people where to follow you. Where to follow you. Where can they, where can they lock in at? Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. I I haven't tweeted. You know, I already act like I'm rich. Because, <laughs> you know, I feel like rich people don't tweet. Don't tweet. I feel like wealthy people don't tweet. <laughs> um, so I had did a podcast one time where they did, uh, it was on these hoes, where they had this segment when they go back and read some of your tweets. Yeah. They was like, bitch, you ain't tweeted since 2012. Your shit ain't even relatable. Like, you tweeted, we got finally got a black president. <laughs> A scene where I don't tweet but you, Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't tweet. I don't TikTok even though I need to. Yes, you, you do. Yes, I need to. You need to. Well, I got kicked out TikTok for smoking weed. I couldn't believe it. I can't believe it either. But you can get back on there. Get it started on the page. <laughs> So, but you can follow me on Instagram at Call Me Miss Franklin. Hit me up on Facebook at Ashima Franklin. You can catch me on the Country Wayne skit. Yay! I get noticed. From that all the time. Yeah. Been doing comedy all this time. It don't matter where I go, people be talking about the country wine skit. Well, the reality is the internet, right? Yeah. And so 
the internet, you can see hundreds of thousands of people within hours. Yeah. yeah. So you can, I just started back filming with them again. And um, man, just follow me. Just follow me. Follow me. She going, yeah, yeah, she got so many things coming up. I'm going to be doing a New York Comedy Festival again this, this year. Yay. I'm excited about that. I do have that show at the King's Theater with Major Hype. I'm excited to meet Major and do that show. And um, yeah, man, just 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 follow me. Follow her. Y'all yeah. follow her. Listen, I promise you, you will thank me later. Ashima is a sight to see oh. be around. The energy is definitely there. Listen, and y'all just gotta stay locked in at the Through Thick and Thin, the podcast, we bring <laughs> you the thickest and the thinnest shit ever. I love the sign. It's the sign. So, and, and Kelly, uh, just so we can we get go. this on video, we, uh, we came up with this name together <laughs> as we lounge. If the shit take out, the bitch gonna owe me some money. Yes, I invite the co-host. I'm gonna get the back end. I need to be a writer or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was gonna do a thick and thin tour with us. Yes. The, before it was funny by nature. It was her thick, my thin. <laughs> now it's thin and thicker thin. <laughs> through thicker, thicker thin. Thicker, 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 thicker,